2014 uh, on the macro environment will be better than 2013. There is better news coming from the US, there is relatively better news coming from Europe, whilst at the same time Asia will still perform very strongly, Africa looks uh, healthy and I think there is solid growth in many parts of the Middle East, especially in the oil-rich uh, Gulf countries. In fact, I think that the gap between emerging market growth and G7 growth will not narrow down, it will in fact widen a little bit further. An important development will be the tapering of quantitative easing, which we think will happen sometime around June. Uh, we had the dress rehearsal in 2013. We saw that the markets found it difficult to adjust uh, to that kind of news. I think it will be something similar next year. So I think despite a positive macro outlook, markets can still be relatively volatile, especially in the first half of the year. China should never be far away from anyone's thought, uh, not just at Standard Chartered, but anywhere in the world. We think it will be the first largest economy in the world by 2022. So what China does will affect everyone. The market mechanism will be playing a much more important role going forward. It's necessary to happen. Of course, in the short term, it could mean that we might see some uh, short-term volatility with the possibility of some controlled crisis in different aspects of uh, China's uh, economy. They shouldn't surprise us, they shouldn't shock us. It's part of the adjustment and it's part of the rebalancing of the Chinese economy. I think the biggest risk uh, to our positive global uh, outlook for 2014 is the possibility of a policy mistake, especially in the West. The recovery is there, but it's still fragile. So if we see premature tightening of policy, either in the US or in Europe, that could jeopardize the emergence of the West. In the East, reform is significant and important and a crucial condition for the East to continue to grow.